What's up, everybody? This is Philly Ryan of Madden 101, your place for quick tips to educate you on football and Madden. And today, I want to get back in front of you and let's kick back off our Madden Ultimate Team Coin Up Challenge. We're on week seven. We got the Bengals versus the Steelers. That means we have AJ Green versus Mike Wallace. And what I want to do is actually let me give you guys opportunity because I know a lot of people like to look at um, depth charts on Ultimate Team. So I want to go into that first before getting into our actual coin up challenge who we're going to lose uh this week ea dropped the limited edition series i actually got lucky and pulled the andre johnson limited edition card the other night uh number 225 of 250 so i'm feeling good right now about my luck all right so let's go ahead and take a look at my team you know i got andre johnson i got uh jason peters carl nix nick mango jari evans second edition jake long I had Dave Casper in there. I don't know why I got to put my Sherlin Starp in there. I have Michael Irvin, Greg Jones, two-star Steve Young, two-star Emmett, and Reggie Wayne, who's going to actually get sub uh, for my Calvin Johnson two-star. All right. Then we go to the defense. Dion, Reggie White, Mean Joe Green, Jared Allen, who's actually going to get subbed in for uh terrell suggs or julius peppers who am i putting here i'm gonna put peppers in there dick lane 99 one star on free safety i have rob woodson terrell suggs as our left outside linebacker middle linebacker erlacher uh outside linebacker brooks and then my other safety is a two-star ronnie lott all right go ahead and look at my special teams and after looking at that we're going to go ahead and get back into what this coin up series is really about all right, so if a lot of you guys don't know, during, you know, the regular day, my, my everyday life, I also write sports blogs for, uh, you know, a local radio station in Philadelphia, hot1079philly.com. Uh, I give them the shameless plug right there, but they, um, you know, they gave me the opportunity to do that. So I normally cover the Philadelphia 76ers, the Philadelphia Eagles, whatever other sports team. Um, in boxing news, we got a... We got a great up and coming fighter out of Philly by the name of Danny Garcia, who I like to cover as well. So I just try to keep, you know, keep my, you know, my guys, you know, the guys in Philadelphia uh, excited about sports. And that's what I want to bring over to Ultimate Team or to this Joust channel. All right. Um, I know the coin up challenge isn't maybe as sexy as what some of you guys see as regular gameplay. But what I want to do with this is actually talk a little bit about the benefit of this and how we can use the coin up to actually talk about a little bit of fantasy football all right i'm a diehard fantasy football fan i know a lot of guys play fantasy football it's a great option um if you're not really a diehard football fan it's a way that you can get your feet wet in football um or american football because i know a lot of guys out here actually watch fief uh watch um so i don't want to call it fo soccer um international football um you know, but this gives you an opportunity to follow a player that you like or that you're familiar with um, and let that get you into the actual game, the, the American version of football. All right. Once you do that, then you can, you know, decide on your own if you really like it or not. But that's basically like your entry level into football, which is which is fantasy sports. All right. So what EA has done is, again, created this ultimate team thing, which is a huge hit. And on top of that, now they've added these coin up challenges, all right? And again, you guys know I've been doing these challenges and I'm trying to make them a little more interesting for you guys so that you guys can have a little bit more fun with it instead of just coming and saying, oh, that's just a coin up challenge. Who really cares about that? I understand. I want to make this thing as exciting as possible for you. Give you a little insight on thing or this or that. All right, so this week we have the Cincinnati Bengals playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, all right? And everybody knows that the Pittsburgh Steelers used to be a dominant run team. You know, they were built on a run, built on a, a nasty defense. You know, that's that's their reputation. All right. But as of late, you know, early on in in um, Ben Roethlisberger's career, uh, they used a little bit of the passing game, not passing game, but the running game because of Jerome Bettis. Uh, but right before Roethlisberger, they was like a, a heavy pass team for 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 a little bit of a time and now they're getting back to that and ben roethlisberger is becoming like a, a gunslinger all right and if you look back you know last year they had andre brown i hope i'm getting the guy 
the, the guy's name right andre brown number 84 i believe and mike wallace and they were just attacking defenses man putting all types of pressure on defenses going at them extremely aggressive um both that when you got that type of speed on the outside with mike wallace and and, and brown it's kind of tough for a defense to actually deal with that all right and then in cincinnati you had um andy dalton with uh, aj green all right so that combination was real explosive last year real sexy everybody wants to you know wants to follow the the, the so-called sexy story or the or the big story and they had two rookies out there in cincinnati just doing the damn thing last year and they've continued with that this year so ea says you know this is the matchup this week let's look at the key players the key player on pittsburgh is mike wallace all right, you know he held out during the summer. Um, Andre Brown actually got a deal doing during his holdout, which actually forced Wallace back in camp. Like, yo, even though he didn't come into camp, you know, on time, he wound up coming back with I believe like a week or so left in training camp, and he had to get his act together because you know if you you're not gonna get anything done just by sitting out. Plus, he would lose a year of free agent ability, uh, or um, not free agent, but he would lose a year going towards his free agency. So. It's the question is, is it going to be Mike Brown, Mike Wallace, or is it going to be AJ Green? All right, who's going to have a better game uh, on Sunday? So what I'm saying is I'm going with AJ Green. And the reason why I'm going with that is Mike Wallace stats is 21 receptions for 345 yards and four touchdowns. He's on pace for 13 touchdowns, right? That's good, but that's not great. All right. AJ Green, on the other hand, 43 receptions, 628 yards and six touchdowns. He's on pace for a 16 touchdown season. All right, so three three touchdowns, what's the difference? Here's the difference. In six games, AJ Green has, uh, I'm sorry, in five games, AJ Green has six touchdowns. He had two in week six, which was just last week. All right, so I'm going with the man with the hot hand. And the man with the hot hand is AJ Green. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect this AJ Green card, and I hope, that he has a better game than Mike Wallace. And all I'm looking at is touchdowns because EA gives you points for touchdowns, not for stats, not for receptions, not for yards, but for touchdowns. All right, I believe it's 500 for a touchdown, and I'm sorry, 500 for the card, and then 750 points for 750 coins uh, for every touchdown. So I'm going with Mike. I'm sorry, with AJ Green for my money. All right, guys, look, I've been having a great time bringing this stuff to you. I hope I see you guys again next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as I'm wrapping this up, you get to, you get to see a little bit of the highlights of the game. You know, trying to, you know, I'm trying to do my thing. I changed playbooks. Um, now I'm rocking with the. I ain't gonna tell you that yet. I ain't gonna tell you about the playbook yet. Stay tuned for that. But here's a take. Here's take a quick look at that AJ Green card. And everybody have a great week. And you know I can't end this without giving you a big yowsh, damn it.